Hello everyone, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to upgrade firmware on a Honeywell Android mobile computer. You're going to need the device itself, you're going to need the zip file that contains the firmware version that you'd like to upgrade to, and you need a USB connection to the device or to the docking station that the device sits in. In order for the user to make changes to the device or to upgrade firmware or any other applications on the device, uh, there are two measures we need to take in order to allow that. Those are turning provisioning mode on and allowing the device to use its USB port to transfer files instead of just simply charging the device. So if you're looking at my device here, which is a Honeywell CK65, I'm going to go ahead and swipe up from that home screen and I'm going to go into the Android settings application. From here I'm going to select Honeywell settings and then I'm going to look for provisioning mode. Here you can simply toggle the radio button to on and now provisioning mode is enabled and the only thing we have to do now is allow for USB to transfer files. So from the top of the device where you see these icons for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, go ahead and swipe down with your finger. And if you look at the very bottom, it's always on the bottom, you'll see this Android system. And it'll either say USB connection or USB for charging. We're going to go ahead and, and select that. So tap on it with your finger and select transfer files. Once that's complete, you can go ahead and click on the home button and bring it back to the Android home screen. Now, if you go to your Windows File Explorer, you will see the device that you're looking for. In this case, I, it's, it's a CK65. I'm going to go ahead and click on internal shared storage, Honeywell, and auto install. Now, the key takeaway here is that the auto install folder is the folder that you're going to want to drag and drop or cut and paste your firmware file into. Now, it should take anywhere from 30 seconds to 2 minutes for the file to fully download into that auto install folder. And now that it's in there, there's only one step left and that is going to be on the device itself to go ahead and activate this firmware upgrade. So now on the device itself, we're going to go ahead and swipe up again from that home screen and we're going to select this auto install application in the top left corner. We're going to keep everything as it is in default and just click on packages upgrade and when you pick, click on packages upgrade, it's going to look for the new packages and it's going to start downloading and it's going to give you a progress report in uh, percentages. So it's going to start at 1%, go up to 100%, and then it's going to reboot the device on its own. As you can see, my files have started to download, and as soon as this is complete, the Honeywell device will reboot, and when it comes back up, you will be updated to the newest firmware. Thank you very much.